guys welcome back to the channel hope you're all doing well today we're going to just take a look at the tank not nothing much has really happened this week um what you will see is you'll see another tank fish mate and some people love them some people hate them i personally like them really quite a bit to be honest and i've actually bought a rabbit or fox face, whichever one you want to call it. And there's a few reasons for that, guys. I know some people don't really like them. Now, as you all know, uh, me and I'd love, you know, uh, an angel fish and stuff like that in my tank. But to be honest, with the angel fish, they do have a tendency uh, to nip at corals, especially, you know, the likes of scullies and, you know, um, at your LPS and stuff like that. So that's always stemmed me away from it. With these fox faces, you know one thing and one thing only is that they're not going to munch on any corals. I've had one before, as you know, and it, that one never ever munched on any coral whatsoever. It, it did, it, it didn't even entertain anything. It just went around eating the algae and stuff like that. And as you can see, the algae off this side wall now is basically completely gone. Well, it has gone. The algae has just been took, took apart from there which is one thing i had a bit of an issue with on my last video was obviously a bit of the algae coming back on the back wall and stuff there's still a little bit of tufts there um but nothing absolutely nothing on the uh on the rock or anything it's just on the back wall but we've added some like i said some cleanup crew we've added this guy we're going to be adding a few more other fish into here as well the um uh little uh Gobe, not Gobe, sorry, the little um, Blenny. He's been going around, he's uh, he's hiding. He usually hides under this uh, Hollywood stunner or he'll sit on the edge of this this uh, Zoa rock. He'll sit there or he'll go on the frag rack and he'll just munch away. So he's he's been helping out um, and stuff. So yeah, that's a, good, that's a good thing. But like I said, this guy, he just basically goes around, doesn't eat algae, doesn't eat any corals, eats the algae, only eats algae really, to be honest. I fed the tank uh, the usual, my usual uh, food and stuff what I made, but he's not interested in that. He's just interested in uh, eating the little bits of algae, so that's a great thing. Like I said, I'm going to get another couple more fish. Still undecided yet. Uh, one of them is definitely going to be uh, another algae-eating fish, I would have thought, um, but we'll see. We'll see what goes on. But um, I think I'm looking... Mainly towards a Tamini tank. I'm looking at Tamini tank. A lot of people have put that out to me. Said if you ever fancied it, I looked at them and they do look really, really good. One another thing with them is like obviously they just go around constantly eating algae, which is a, a really good thing. Just need to get this algae under control. Don't want to get over let it go crazy because it can be a potentially an issue um, and stuff. But we'll get there. We'll get there. But anyway, going on to the, the rest of the tank, guys, the tank is, is doing really good. Um, like I said, apart from the, the little bit of algae issue that I'm having, um, all the corals are doing really, really good, really fantastic. Um, as you can see, I mean, this Duncan has just completely took off in this space. I mean, just look at all these little babies here. Absolutely. You've only got to go back on a few videos of how, how many have grown since the hammers and the frog spawns are doing really good as are the chalices these uh candy canes are always doing well uh, the superman mushrooms the uh the torches as always doing really good and the chalice got a bit of sand on it but yeah doing really good and like i said the jingle bell sophastrio Loving life starts to spread more on this rock, on its tile, so that's a good sign. One thing that's completely started to take off is this uh, barley green slimer. I mean, barley green slimers are always done all right in my tank, but they just seem to be slow growing, whereas in some others, they just seem to take off. But now this one seems to have started to take off. And if you remember when we had this, the ledge of, a, of, of this, this Pikachu, it was overlapping 
And I think since I moved it back and it started to get a bit more light, it started to take off a lot more, a lot deeper colour. Well, you can see the colour. You can see how bright green that is. Really like a toxic green. Really, really good. The PC Rainbow is started, as always, starting to colour up really, really nice now. And then the Pikachu, really colourful. Really, really nice. So, so yeah, overall, guys, everything's doing really, really good. This... Uh, Raja Rampage is starting to get more and more eyes on it, so that's doing really good. And the Zoas are all are all taking off. One Zoa, like I said, this is one of the Krakatoa Zoas, is it? What Paul gave me. Still one there, but I think since when that urchin knocked the other one off, it's, uh, yeah, I don't think it likes being mithered, to be honest, which obviously none of us would. Uh, and yeah, I think that's really really done it. some some damage i think to be honest but one thing i haven't mentioned is my lionfish lionfish is swimming about in here sometimes somewhere it tends to just stay over in the back it's in the back corner to be honest it's, it tends to hide underneath this ledge and try to find him there's the six line rass he's going around he just does his thing but he's really really good he's a good i know a lot of people have a lot of uh, trouble with six line rasses i've never had an issue with the six line ras to be fair um, they've always seemed to be do to do really really good in the tank but um but yeah the lion fish mainly comes out in the evening don't really see him i have added loads of um, uh, river shrimp in here so they, they will be around somewhere they hide in the rocks but i'm sure when the lionfish comes out in the evening that's what he goes and he feeds so you know to be honest um, because I'm sure the, the, the river shrimp would come out in the evening as well, thinking they're not going to be uh, a bite to eat. So, so yeah, I think that's when he eats because he's still alive, still uh, thriving. And I've basically given him one piece of prawn. That's all I've given him. So, um, yeah, I don't think that would be enough, to be honest, for him to survive. But he's definitely out because I've seen him. I see him all the time in the evening. Uh, so, yeah, he's doing really good. One thing I did want to mention, though, as we talked about the uh, tang, which was obviously got evicted from a tank not long ago, these clownfish always used to lay eggs. Always, always used to lay eggs. When they basically the eggs hatched, they was basically laying eggs literally within maybe two days or three days after the others had hatched. Uh, and yet they were always uh, they've not laid eggs for a long, long time to be honest. And uh, it was something my missus said to me. She said, "You know what? They've not don't seem to have laid eggs." And it just you know something that just dismisses your mind you don't really think about them about it and then I, I thought about it i thought after it and i said you know what you're right they've not actually laid eggs for a long long time uh, and lo and behold two or three days after i'd uh, said that they laid the first batch of eggs that was maybe a week ago a week and a half ago or something um and yeah they laid they laid their eggs and they hatched and then they've laid some eggs brand new eggs today and they lay them basically on that back wall. If you can see, that's them there. All the fry. So they've laid more more eggs on that back wall. So that's a good sign. That means that they're happy. They're not they're stress free. And there's we have the feet, the male going around and wafting them. It's such a magical thing to see when you clownfish lay eggs. I really, really, I really, really enjoy it when I see that. It just means that they're happy and that they're uh, and that they're thriving in. And yeah. That they're comfortable in their environment and i think basically obviously that was because of the uh the other fish the tang bullying it you know trying to assert its dominance i think in fear i think they just get stressed i think they don't uh yeah i think they just i think they just don't want to lay eggs in case you know they feel danger that the maybe the tang might might obviously uh kill the eggs and stuff i mean even so even when the eggs do hatch they don't actually live there they, they you know unfortunately they uh basically swim around and god knows where they go so probably some of them be in the sump um but yeah i don't know where or a lot of them probably become fish food to be fair so which is sad but it is what it is it's a uh, part of life i suppose but yeah other than that guys the rest of the tank is doing is doing really good one thing i do want to mention though is uh I'm going to be doing my cable management. All my cable management is going to be getting done. So as you've seen before, in a tons of tons of stuff. Now what I've done is I'm getting a hex board. They're called from Exodus. 
Um, I'm actually getting one of them from the guys uh, who are sending me one out. Uh, so I'm going to be doing all my cable management. I've ordered a, uh, I've not got the stuff yet, but I've ordered the, the some, um, you know, cable management ties and stuff like that that goes around because I've, to be honest, that's the one thing that is lacking, that is basically annoys me in this tank is the cable management of the, of the system. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be getting all that sorted. And then hopefully it might be next week if I get it. It might not be, but whichever week it'll be. I'm going to do a video. I'm not going to do an unboxing because not many people are likely unboxing. Uh, I might show, I'll obviously, obviously show you what you probably do get in a box, but it's not going to be a specific unboxing. Then I'm just going to basically do it all. I'm going to show some pictures of it before and obviously an after. Um, and you'll be able to see exactly where, you know, where <laughs> where it was and where it go, where it was after. So, which I think you'll probably be shot. I know it's going to take a long time to do. It's going to take a good few hours. What I'm going to have to do is going to get one of my trusty spare heaters. I'm going to have to run it over the back of the tank uh, and into here um, somewhere. Just basically drop it in just to keep the tank warm. Um, and then maybe plug an external, um, you know, extension kit into into somewhere and just plug, like, say, a power head in just to keep a bit of surface agitation going or maybe just keep my... Uh, Maybe just keep the return on, to be honest. Just keep that return on, just to keep, get some uh, oxygen into the tank, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I think that's what I might have to do. But it's going to be a few hours, like I said, of uh, stripping everything down, turning everything off, restarting it. And yeah, uh, we'll go from there. But I think it'll look a hell of a lot better. In fact, I know it's going to look a hell of a lot better than what it does now. So... But yeah, that's uh, that's going to be my next plan. Hopefully, that'll be on my next video. I'm not sure, but if not, then uh, we'll go. For, we'll figure something out and we'll do another video of some. Maybe, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe another fish. You never know. But uh, just a quick video of this, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed a little bit of a look at the tank. Um, and yeah, like I said, always. Uh, you know, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate. It. If not, give me a thumbs down. Whichever way. Uh, I, I take everything on board and like I said um, if you don't uh, tune in to the uh, my usual videos tune into our live streams on a Friday head over to our Instagram myself Fish Palace uh, Jay's Real Reef and uh, and the Bearded Reef um, so yeah check us out and we'll be able to tell you all you, you'll be able to see which, uh, which channel it's going to be on that week and come over for a bit of reefing fun and uh, yeah a little of a bit of a reefing update and see see where you go so once again guys i really appreciate your following and your feedback and i'll see you on the next video so take care guys and i'll see you soon